Hey guys, it's me, Ashley Alexandra, and I'm back again with another V E E E E E. I'm back with another V E E E E. I'm back with another video. Another video. Another video. I'm back with another video. on how I grow my foot. Do not laugh from now. Do not hurt my feelings. Do not laugh. Everybody think this is a joke. It's not a joke. Guess what? A long, long time ago. Probably three, four, Five years ago, in a big, big okay, I don't, I didn't miss out my shoes. Long time ago, probably five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I lied. Probably five, four years ago, I broke my my foot. Okay, I was one. I broke my foot. Now you're saying how you managed to get your foot broken as a young child growing up in French Quarter. Me and my friend Junicia, along with her brother Jonathan Jr., etc., we normally used to go up in the hills to pick kinep. Kinep, however you guys will call it. This is kinep. It had this day I wanted. We wanted to go pick kinep, however, the boys was not there. Yeah. And we never, we normally go with the boys or a boy to be there whenever we go up in the hill to pick kidnap. Kidnap season, we want kidnap. Ask Santi Karen. No, I don't think Santi Karen was home. Oh, we did ask her, she said okay. But I asked my mother. Santi Karen is her mother. Ask my mother. Miss Malusco. Tell me, she said, who got up in the hills? Me and Junicia. The boys I'm in going with, are you? Are you going by yourself? I say yes. She said, you ain't going up in the hill by yourself, just you and Junicia. Something happened to all you, nobody know. I asked, but in my mind, it was not, it was not to negotiate. Even though I was a little child. In my mind, it was just for me to ask you, ask my mother, for to say yes, and we go. My mother said, no. Anything happened to all you up in those hills, nobody No Two girls going up in that hill. Mom, so I said, are you going up? I said, I won't go pick Ken at me and Teresa. She said, no, nobody going with all you. Are you going nowhere? I said, I want to go up in the hill to pick it up. No, Ashley, you're not going nowhere. You're not leaving this freaking house. He said, you're not leaving this freaking house to go pick up, pick no kid up. I tell you, no, no is no. Mommy, I want to go pick it up. Me and Julie said, nothing can happen to us around when you make us go. Ashley, and this is well. I took do go as a go but it was like a no you know when you frustrate your parent and they say go 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 some of them may say go 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 depending on the situation but she said you know what do do what you want to do you want to go go but that was if you dare leave this house right kind of exactly well she meant if you leave this house you leave this house, you know what good for you, younger. Legs. But I took it as a, I frustrated her, you know, so I should go. Come, Jean said, I'm going to go, go. You sure? Yeah. Jump the wall. This is the wall. And up, you have 
the mountains, the hills and whatnot. So we jumped the wall going up in the mountains. Go going up in the hills, not mountains. Going up in a hill, right? So we reach picking kin up, picking kin up, whoop, in our bag, picking, 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 picking. It had this coat of big juicy kinab, big juicy kinab on the top. So I climb and go in. Monkey Ashley, no, Monkey Ashley, Monkey Ashley. I climb and go in, climb and going up, you know, to get, to get this cool looking kinab. So it had this skinny like bra. This. And me, I was not, I was, I was not, I was not fat as a child. But with my weight and this size of the branch, I know it was not possible. But this branch was a branch to get the kingdom. So guess so Ashley step on top of it, walking, walking, walking on top of the thing. I standing up on top of the branch, forgetting is a little piece of branch. I stand up talking. I said, Junisha, look how we gonna risk our life for some kidnap. As I said, Brutu, Brutu. As I told you, this was a branch to reach the kidnap, but was to the top. So, see, this is the top, and I and down here, right here, is the. And down here, where I showed you, is the ground. So I fell from there. Go, whoop. Guess what? As I say, look how we're going to risk our life for some kingdom. The branch fell. I fell, okay. Of course, the branch fell. I fell. Brought my foot, a bone sticking out. I think I was more paranoid of how I saw my foot sticking out then the pain actually i just see a bone sticking out i like oh my god i break my foot i ain't gonna walk really me. nigga jinisa say jinisa come down one time she said actually let me go let me go let me go so we got i said you got a kid up i ain't forget i gonna make sure we got a kid up we gone she take up the kid up remember we up in a hill. My house is down the hill. I had to crawl it, crawl it on the grass in dirt. So I crawled in, in grass and in dirt to reach the end of this hill. Then when I couldn't, Junisa put me on her back. Poor Junisa. Because I know I was waiting. You have a lay, a lay pond. And you have to cross that pond to reach up in a hill. So therefore, when I reach down, I have to cross that pond to get over the wall to go to my house. How am I going to cross a pond if I crawl in? Tell me how I cross a pond if I crawl in. I can't walk. I can't stand up. Guess what? Genesia make this like make a lay rocks, 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 and a cardboard. I mean, not a cardboard, rocks, rocks, and like a piece of plywood. And I crawl it, crawl it, crawl it. And she tried like lift me up a little bit. So we just struggling. She she reached by the wall. She jumped over. She got up. She said she called her brother. So her brother came and picked me up and we went upstairs. This is the the pavement. My house is on this side over here. So this is the um the house. And then Junisia house is right here. So this is the pave this is the pavement. My house here, Junisia house here. So I on top of this pavement. So when she went to tell my mother what happened to my leg, my mother came downstairs. So I hear on top of this pavement, my house here, she holds there, so right there. So we could see each other's house. 
mother down stairs. He said, I should have to your foot. Mommy, I break my foot. He said, he said, I tell your mother ass don't go in the wheel. You showed me you friggin' woman and went up in the friggin' head to pick kill him. If I tell your ass don't go in the wheel. Ah, actually. Yo, she was going to beat me now, but I don't know. Thank you, Lisa. She did not beat me. She did not. So, because my grandma a friend was there, Lucia, I went to her jeep. So, we gone to the hospital now. We are on our way driving. No, I went to Lucia jeep, but then I went to my mother jeep. I don't, I can't remember. One of them jeep I went in. So, I was saying, I, somebody was driving. I don't think my mother was driving. I was in the back. I was just long on the passenger side. I went in the back. My mother said, I tell you, she said, that is what happened when you don't listen. I tell you, don't go nowhere. You show me you're a woman. Uh, you don't, she said, she don't, I got a right to beat you right now. now. I said, so my head was like, I feel break. This woman said, want to beat me? Really? That way I say in my head. The woman said, I will just lick you down now. now. I said, you don't know how I feel it right now. So, so now my mother looking at her bag for her cigarette. She said, I like forget my freaking cigarette. She said, so she said she want to hit me, but she said, make it worse at that. She said, even worse that she forget her cigarette. She said, no, I will hit you right now. No. <laughs> so I do. <laughs> Yo, I didn't want to get eggs. <laughs> So my mother legit curse, 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 curse. From our friend side to dot side hospital. So we gone to the emergency room. The lady, I really are sitting down. My mother getting impatient. So she said, "My daughter here we are broke." Foot. Are you the payasin in the back there? She said, so I need to come outside to, to tend to my child right now. I ain't a bag of payasin. You know how long I here? Two told somebody come out. They say, Miss Grell. So my mom said, that's us. Let's go your ass. You don't feel it. She, she said, sorry. I'm sorry. She said, you don't listen. Lady say, we will have to do an operation right now. I must say, oh gosh. That woman must say, oh gosh. She said, that what happened when I don't freaking listen. When I talk, I don't think I just talking. I just talking, but I know exactly what I talking about. I tell you, don't go no freaking well. In my head, I was like, we in front of the 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 surgeon right now. Oh, you can tell that when we go. He said, that I don't think I just talk it. I think you don't go to where you show me you freaking woman. You got up in the freaking head to go pick Kinnip, you junior. I better tell her I don't go nowhere. I said, but mommy, you said go, go. I said, she said, actually, that don't mean to go. Yo. 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 Anyways, the lady said, I have to, she have to operate on my, she have to operate on my foot. They put me under something. Next thing you know, I was knocked out. I woke up and my mother said, quote, quote, it was July time. So it was around my aunt Tammy birthday. She said, we're operating. I asked her if I gonna be uh, feeling better enough to go by Tammy cat to eat food. I'm like, mommy, I know I did not say that. She said, yes, all oh, you was talking about going by Tommy Cat to eat food. In my head, I feel so shame now, now. But anyways, I stayed in the hospital for probably a whole week, 10 days, 2 weeks. I can't remember, I stayed in the hospital now. And eventually, I had a cast. And under the cast, it had like two little green blocks for me to walk on. And I had my crutches. So I was going to school with crutches. And 
and yeah I also fight on my crutches but that's another story thing might do tomorrow anyway so when I got home I might of curse my grandmother asked what happened told her and my mom said that's just good for her man because she don't listen but I enjoyed it because I was getting special treatment. I got soup. My foot was cock up. If you guys don't know why it's cock up. My foot was well relaxed on the bed with a pillow under it. While I was getting food to the room. Tea if I wanted tea. Whatever I wanted, I got so that was a pro. That was an advantage of me breaking my leg. The disadvantage was my mother cursed me, nearly beat me, and I never heard the end of that story because every time when my family come over to see me, she continued repeating it, repeating it. So yeah, story time on how I broke. My foot falling out a kidnap tree. Yeah. So the moral of the story is listen to your parents. When they tell you do not do not do something, do not do it. Do not be stubborn. Do not be disobedient. Remember, as the Bible says, honor your father and your mother so your days can be long. Be be obedient don't be like me don't be like me because when you disobey they come with consequences so therefore just try your best to be understanding even though we know how parents are just try to be understanding obey and in the long run you will see what they were talking to you about and guess what this is the end of my story time so if you enjoy this story time, like, if you stay to the end, thank you, like, 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 subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can get alert when I post a new video. And if you have not watched my previous video, watch my previous video, okay? Watch my previous video where food combinations, where food combinations. And feel free to lurk and watch my other videos. Thank you.